Friends, welcome back. Today we're going to access property names with bracket notation. Um, in the first object challenge, we mentioned the use of bracket notation as a way to access property values using the evaluation of a variable. For instance, imagine that our foods object is being used in a program for a supermarket cash register. We have some function that sets the selected food and we want to check our food object for the presence of that food. This might look like this. The selected food is equal to get the current food and we have the scanned item. Um, inventory is equal to foods and then that's um, in the position of selected food. Uh, this code will evaluate the value stored in the selected food variable and return the value of that key in the foods object or undefined if it is not present. Bracket notation is very useful because sometimes object properties are, no, are not known before runtime or we need to access them in a more dynamic way. <coughs> We've defined a function check inventory which receives a scanned item as an argument. Return the current value of the scanned item key in the foods object. You can assume that only valid keys will be provided as an argument to check inventory. Interesting. Hmm. And so here we've got the foods. We don't want to change any of the foods, but in the foods, it's an object of apples, oranges, plums, bananas, grapes, strawberries. We have the uh, function, which is check inventory, and then we pass in the scanned item. And right now, it's the function is just returning undefined because really nothing happens here. Um, if we were to put um, scanned item into here, if we were to turn that, then we would get apples because we're passing in apples here. So check inventory comes to here. And right now we're just returning what's passed in. Um, but what we want to do is we, we've defined a function which receives a scanned item, return the current value of the scanned item key in the foods object. Oh, so we would go, we could go foods and then pass in the scanned item. So right now we're going foods, like what we're doing is check inventory of apples, check inventory, apples, scanned item becomes apples, foods, and then in bracket notation is apples. And so therefore apples should return 25, which it's doing. Um, if we were to do bananas, uh, that's 13, which is what it's supposed to do. And then if we did strawberries, we should return 27. And so it looks like this is great. So yeah, we're just um, returning the value of the scanned item. So that's, we're just checking the inventory. Awesome. Run the tests. They pass. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.